the obvious question this week is is everybody back is everybody available after that everybody's back uh, one or two aren't, aren't fit still um as just been saying to, to, to the bbc that obviously people have had COVID, but will understand that you sort of get uh you're back into day 10 and back 11 sorry and then all of a sudden you're back into where we still feel fatigued and tired and that's just sometimes with a job that you can just go to an office or or it, if you're a tradesman it's, it's a little bit harder as well but yeah. to go run around and to to, to really push your heart and you, and you breathe into it to a very high level you can see the the effect it has on on, on sports people so it's um yeah some of them come back and, and struggled so we we are with that one or two but we had a game here tuesday yeah. uh as we can say is Matty scored. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but other than that, we kept it behind closed doors. We wasn't for other people to sort of to comment on, really. I'll give him the credit. Joel scored as well, everybody. So, uh, there was uh, two goals. Not saying any more about that. Um, Sunderland, you've actually got... You had the difficult bit with the players out. Now you've got the difficult bit on the pitch. That's a big week. You've got three tough away games this week, haven't you? Yeah, they're, 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 all, they're all challenges tactically and in, in, in a different way. Physically, it'll be a real tough week. Um, but we're preparing for that. We have done all week. We've prepared all week for the next three games. But it's there'll be a time when we're not in football, Chris, and we'll, we'll be playing for a, for a three-game week on the road. Yeah. Um, and you go to really good stadiums, like say the Stadium of Lightning, to Doncaster, and then you want to Stadium MK the weekend as well. And they're all new, modern stadiums, and they're all places that you really want to perform in, and, and none more so than the weekend. 